Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Part two of this bullshit. <laughs> She's fine. Bro, no cap, I don't know what the marketing was for this shit, but... Oh my god. It's not worth it. Ah, <laughs> uh, finger looking good. Yada yada yada. Ah... Uh, you already know. This card's big. I think I spelled that right. Oh well, if I didn't... <laughs> You sleep softly as the morning sun casts. Yes, yes, yes. Skip to where we died. Yes. Smack that clock and up and at him. Lying in the bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Fuck that shit, I'm a dropout. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. You'll allow yourself to daydream a bit thinking about the future. Mm, I'll take it seriously. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. I still don't like that fucking poster. That's just ugly. You bust through your morning you la 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 la. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth, brushed, hair, comb, pits, deodorized. That shit is very fucking important, bro. Oh my god, there's some people out there who you know don't put deodorant on and it fucking smells. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Who the fuck just eats a random biscuit? Fucking weirdo. Just what you needed to get your blood flow. No. 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 That's disgusting. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for... That is the stupidest name. University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Mm. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Uh, what is this, a token best friend? <laughs> that I won't get with. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met and you absolutely love her for it. Oh, also I do like her. Okay. Good morning, cursed pig. Are you excited for your first day of the rest of our life? <laughs> what is this, jail now? Spending the rest of our lives in jail? Okay. Actually, I'm... Oh, I need to do a voice. <clears throat> uh, oh shit. Uh... How would she sound? Uh, because... No. No. Because... No. Because I sure am... No. Nope. Nope. That's horrible. No. Nope. Stop. Stop. Because... 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 You know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing voice. Because I sure am excited. A little nervous. Okay? Okay? A lot. Nervous. Gosh. Why do I sound? What's the? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? Oh, yo, she's sad. Don't worry, I'll lick those tears off of you. Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents. Chef, I said chef. Mm. She's, she's always held herself to a very high standard. I respect that. I respect that. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand po box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Oh, that's me talking to her. I'm stupid. But with the University of Cooking School Academy for learning famous three day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. 
I don't know how people can do voices, bro. It's just annoying. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> oh, no. I can just imagine seeing her, her being like, Hey, baby, with a mannequin. Should you prep? You, should you prep? Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? You know what? Um, I'm the type of guy who's been friend zone, so I got you. I got you. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? I don't believe in fortune tellers. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares. I've been trying to forget. Oh, shit. Uh, oops I know she looked spooky But she was so sweet And she told you that you were destined for great things Who wouldn't love a face like that <laughs> Remember that card with that fancy looking tower And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own That hurt my feelings bro I am right here for you You can I look pretty. I look pretty. <laughs> so whatever. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating. And you'll be delighted the world with your... And you'll be delighting the world. With your hot, heartfelt cooking in no time at all. I can't speak. As you talk Miriam up. You can feel her nerves being in ease. Hey, see? I'm a good guy. You know, oh, <clears throat> you know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. They're all right. I've seen better. I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse, but those are all right. Can you believe I cut them myself? Yes, I do believe that. Cause apparently, everybody cuts their care to be quirky and shit. You can definitely believe it. <laughs> oh, stop! It's not even that bad. I uh I cannot believe it. Before you get before you can get another word out, you're rudely rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand and out to the girl. What a bitch, who did that? Hey Aw oh, Dog No I can't why purple hair red eyes those two big humongous <coughs> eyes <laughs> yo it's uh, i'm so sorry ashley i'm guessing but their parents are fucking stupid a e s h l e i g h ashley your arch rival, oh, she could be, and anyway, she's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows, oh, she can take me any day. I mean, <clears throat> hello, Ashley. I, I gotta be, uh, oh, I didn't see you there, chicken chins. Oh, bruh. She just came at me. Can we take a minute and appreciate the little fucking figures on her thigh? Holy shit. That's tough. Ah, uh, God. Anyways. You leave cursed big shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. <laughs> Why are we talking about my shins? Ugh. I can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. She has no choice over that, my guy. That was their parents. Oh, she has a little tongue sticking out. I see that. This is this cute. Anyways, if anyone here knows what perfect shin looks, oh, <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect shin looks like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Madman, <laughs> has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he's... 
Tony type beat? It's Silas' hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Okay, come on. That's kind of sus. Why would I say that? Why would I think that? <clears throat> uh, fuck. What was her voice again? Ahem. <laughs> Van Van. You ring ring. <laughs> <laughs> you know that nigga has no masculine voice. <laughs> You've never been... You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van, the man man, have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Okay. Okay, listen, you Jojo Bizarre. He's upset. Why are you mad, dog? Everybody's mad and this nigga over here like, yo, yo, I'm here. I work out. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. Ooh, okay, I got the comebacks. I see myself. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. Okay. You smoking, but like, you tripping. Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs can learn a lot from us. <laughs> Fuck you. That's why you sound like an old lady when I talk. When you talk. When you talk. Not I, I'm not talking for you or anything. But the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Uh, Let's go, Miriam. See you later, losers. I can't do voices. Oh, who the fuck are you? As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Um, I have no comment over this character. His name is Pop. Are you kidding me? His name is Pop. I'm not making that noise. <laughs> uh... Oh no, I'm making the <clears throat> Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. <laughs> uh that should do the trick. I love you. <laughs> I think you mean thank you. <laughs> my name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He old. The nigga old. Someone like this also be a student at the school. He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside. <laughs> hey yo, I like this character, dog. Hi, Pop. I'm cursed Spick with two eyes. So, don't worry. It's not racist if you call me Spick. Are you gonna make me hold the door all day? You're like, what's up with it? You're gonna go in? You got a little shit right here. Nope. <laughs> and with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me? Or is he kind of cute? No comment. I think it's just you. Yeah, thank you. You spoke for me. Game. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander and keep themselves busy chit chatting. Chit chat spit. Don't tell me the teacher's a dog. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. I don't know, bro. I'm not much of a person to fawn over animals. Sprinkle! <laughs> okay, listen. Why? Why? Now, now, quiet down. Oh, his voice. What is going to be his voice? <clears throat> <clears throat> now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is that unreasonably oh, cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? <laughs> you must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO. Oh, CEO. This hurts my brain. CEO of UCSA. That's the fucking okay. Please call me Professor Doe. I may be cute and a little fluffy. 
<laughs> but I still demand respect. Was. <laughs> you know he's, you know, what? A cute dog is our professor. This is the best school. Uh, way better than the fucking school I went to. That shit was shit. I guess it. I get. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Uh, mandatory water drink. Why is what? Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Yay! Anime perks. Perks? Quirks? Something like that. I don't know what it is. Um, chilly. Someone closed the fucking window. Hey, yo, watch your mouth. You're like five. And then. <clears throat> he walks in. <laughs> You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student as his remarkable goatee. <laughs> and no cap, no gay shit, he kinda fine. Mm. Anyways, who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <laughs> it's him, it's... Oh, what was his voice? God, I... If it isn't my favorite student, Harlem. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. <clears throat> Please. Call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Damn, bro, you know, bitches got wet as fuck when he said that. Anyways, a hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweltering? I don't know what the fuck that means. Sweat begins to bead across your bro. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. Oh. Wait, so am I gay? <laughs> uh... That's news to me. I thought it was straight. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay, I guess I'm gay. This play through. Ashley. And this over here must be sweetie. S oh. <laughs> and this over here must be sweaty. Sweats a lot. Maybe we should. Oh, oh. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. You got a small dick, probably. <laughs> Yo, you saw his... <laughs> you know you saw his eyes right there. What the fuck was that? Stop making that face. Hold on just a second. Nobody talked to my friend like that. Okay. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class, and what is with all your really weird insults? They were subpar. Besides, when Curse speaks sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shit. Are you with me or against me? Did you not see that beautiful, handsome young man? Why are you saying this shit in out loud? <laughs> you take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. See, I'm telling you, important. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. And I'm not talking about the man. Ooh, it's like, no. <laughs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. The greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of coronary legends, past, present, and future. Maybe, m maybe, many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might be, there might even be really adorable, tiny, tiny, minuscule, minis, mini, minuscule. I'm not gonna attempt. Food does not even. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sports and compete in the broom cooking arena. 
Why you get mad though? The fuck? I'm guessing they've always lost every year. Just then another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rous rousing speech. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... QUIET! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you even... <coughs> Fucking water. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this classroom as you as my teacher. I like how his name is Student. He's the generic, bland, side character NPC that nobody cares about. He's probably the main villain. Anyways, everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Yo, is you about to shit on him? What the fuck? Projectile shit? Chill. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. <laughs> Even Clank made it here on time. Rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring to who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Where? <laughs> So, there's Ashley Van Van, a generic person, my best friend, hot dude, robot, dog as a teacher, and me. Hmm. Best game. The glass burst into laughter. Why are they laughing at him? Oh, Clank. You rascal! Sprinkle walks into the classroom as everyone stands silent, in silent obedience. Obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Um, it's not, it's not, no, why would I have, mm, I don't know, I feel like if I give him the rubber ball, he'll get offended thinking me thinking he's just a regular dog but he's not he's a major chef so I'm gonna give him the chicken snack you reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand sprinkles eyes go wide as he locks onto it <gasps> yo I see I was made for visual novels dog I got that shit right first try his favorite well 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 I think there might be some competition for new star students <laughs> The furry prof don't say furry ever again. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. <laughs> Shit, I need to start doing that so I can give it to my boss. <laughs> Settle down, young chumps. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Skarspick. There's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Ah, uh, two good options, but which will you choose? Fuck, bro. Am I going to be fake and leave my best friend and pursue some hot dick? Or... Yeah, who am I kidding? Psych, psych. I've been. I've been. Wait, no, not I've been. Uh, what's the word? Ride or die. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad to you have to. <laughs> I 
I'm so glad to have you near me to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Kind of wanted to sit by Ashley, you know, turn from a enemy to a friend, but you know. Colonel Sanders, he has such a magnetic personality, and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. Okay, listen. Just because he's my main love interest, according to the title of the game, it doesn't mean I have to go for him. I've, this is not my first rodeo. I've played plenty. I've played plenty of games like this before. I never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me? This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp, your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands? But what? Um. It's very important to wash your hands before cooking, before doing anything, actually. That involves any type of food. And, uh. Extremely. But I don't want to be a dickhead to pop. But I'm going to be a dickhead to pop. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I got it right. Okay, it's cool. It's whatever. Forest is to a tree as chicken is to feather, I'm guessing. Because forest is big, tree is one thing, chicken is big, so feather would be a small thing. That's right, okay. This is e Bro, this is easy. I've never failed the test in my life. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? <laughs> I'm guessing it's spork. Because he said spork. That's r that's right. Okay. What food is best for a broken heart? Ice cream. Anything as long as it is prepared with love and not too much salt. <laughs> camel meat. Can you eat camel? Is that legal? I don't know if that's legal. A pancake that looks like a silly face. Nah, bro. It's all about the love and affection your partner gives you. And if you're lonely, your parents or friends give you. You see? Is this is Sprinkles a good boy? <laughs> he's talk he's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. I wanna say no and be a dickhead, but honestly that's very impressive for a dog to talk and teach cooking. How is he gonna Do you think he drools on the food he made anyways? That's right. Your total is perfect score, five out of five. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? Um no, I just use stupid logic. <laughs> And not the rapper, because he sucks. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you total tally your score. He's impressed. Yeah, you know what's up? I'm going to play hard to get. What's up? You can't, you can't touch this. I'm too fly for you, dog. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. See, I told you, dog. I told you I, I did right in sitting next to my best friend because that shows how true I am to friends like that. So that means I would be very good as a partner because I would never leave your side. No, see, you got to think seven steps ahead. IQ 9000. IQ 9000. Hot diggity curse spick. You just scored some major Colonel Sander points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. How long was the class? Was just one pop quiz and then lunch? Wow, the cafeteria is a as nice as many restaurants you've ever eaten at all. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be a serious eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Actually, I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, how do you save? How do you save? I'm guessing 
Um, I'm guessing it's that. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, a delicious. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop here. Call it a day. It was cool. I scored some points with Colonel Sanders. Ashley is thick as fuck, but she's a bitch. Um, Van Van the Man Man is thick as probably like a chode. Uh, my best friend is cool, but I don't think I'm gonna go for her. Dog best boy. Little boy best little boy. <laughs> I don't know. Robot, I need to know more. I, I want to go after the robot. He seemed hilarious out of a first appearance. No cap. Anyways, that's all for today. Bye.